Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode in our Dimeborn series. So in the previous episode we did manage to complete the reservoir that's gonna hold enough water for us to keep our beavers really just hydrated I suppose and then also raising all the rest of the levees in here as well. We did notice that our beaver population was dropping uh, pretty quickly. We've got 40 right now which is okay but we still have another 15 jobs that well, kind of do need to be filled. All of our builder huts are unfortunately pretty, pretty empty. So yeah, we are definitely going to try and get our beaver population a little bit higher. We've got 10 kids already, so they should be growing up pretty soon, I suppose. Or I hope. And then uh, the focus for this episode, I've already placed down the levees in here, is to try and cover up as much of this area as we can. Right, so for that... Yeah, we're going to do a bit of a line here first. And then if we do want to extend it in the future, we can always revisit this area and expand this zone a little bit. But I think this should be should be fine to green up most of this space in here. Now, what we are going to struggle with is probably reaching those two trees in there. Uh, let's have a look at our access as well. So if we remove this section in here, let's take a look. If the road goes through, we might be able to reach all the way there, actually. All right, there we go. All of these barriers can go as well. Right, right, right. Let's take a look now. Oh, there we go. That's pretty, uh, pretty perfect. All right, perhaps we give you a slightly higher priority so that we just get it completed first and then we can place those levees back again. I do want to check as well if we are able to reach all the way to, to these barriers. I think yes. Yes, we are. So that's good. So all we got to do now is let's remove those little extras in here. Same on the other side, actually, as well. And then once it is done, we, yeah, we should be able to try and construct everything. I mean, we do have enough logs. There's about 450 right now, plus the forest has just come online and everything seems pretty good. Whilst we are doing that, of course, uh, let's change you as well. You are going to harvest all those chestnut trees. Oh, right. You are full right now. I guess we are waiting for this grill to go online. Oh, dear. We've lost another three, three beavers, so maybe you are not a priority right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've got six, eight beaver pods online right now. So I guess it's going to take a little bit more time. And for that, let's uh, unpause the other ones as well. So that we can start getting that pop a little bit higher. Okay, we're not really needing any berries currently. I know I'm probably going to forget about it, but yeah, let's uh, resume you a little bit later. Now with our main goals, we also do have a couple of side ones here as well. So yeah, this uh, wall over here needs to be built higher just a tiny bit. And now I think we can already construct this bit in here as well. I believe so. So you can get a slightly high priority. There we go. Okay, yeah, one side is done. The other one, the reason why I'm placing levees here right now is just to block the back area a little bit. And then we can delete the dams without letting all that water escape away from us. Once the levees are done, dams can come out and we shall replace them with levees instead. Okay. Um, right, right, right. I don't think we are going to move the district center until this wall is done here, of course. Okay, so still only 37 beavers, though. And as you can see, yep, no builders at all, just the three of them. And what are you guys building? Okay, so you're completing this section here, and hopefully, hopefully that one's going to be next. So, yeah, let's do the priorities like so. I don't think we are going to need you so you can be paused or removed. And yeah, we are going to skip ahead a little bit just until we can get our population increase. All right, so our population is starting to pick up again. It was going up and down, but it seems, yeah, we're up to 47 now with 11 kits. And all of those beaver boards, well, yeah, we'll get some more kits very soon. Let's see. Well, they're not very high right now, but it's fine. It seems we are, yeah, slowly starting to improve. So what's happened in the past few days whilst we were letting the game run, we have completed this little dam section over here. So in the next uh, rainy season, which is in 2.4 days, we will definitely be holding a lot more water in this area. One problem we will have 
however, is all of our water pumps are going to be flooded. Yeah, so that's not very good, of course, but we shall fix this very soon as well. Oh dear, you guys are now... Okay, everything seems to be dry now. Well, that's fine. Now, in this section here, it seems they have started to prioritize the water pumps instead, which is... It's not a bad thing, actually. Yeah, so maybe we shall do another... How can we do it? We can do... Yeah, at least one or two more. Alright, let's place you in as well. Just over there. Alright, now with that being done and the water pump's almost here, we are also... This link is now fixed and completed. Before, if you remember, it was actually a little bit lower. We still have some of the infrastructure in place as it was before, but once we raised up with the levees, the access had to be upgraded a little bit as well. So we got the stairs over here, all the ladders, and now with the platforms going across directly from there. Now, you will probably need a bit of a priority because we would like to start using this pump for a bit more water. Yep, we are out already. Ah, that's probably because none of these are working. Okay, well, let's give you a slightly higher priority. And um, do we need to unpause you or pause you? No. Yeah, I think we are just going to leave you the way you are right now. Uh, 50 beavers, another 10 that will be ready soon. Okay, well, water is slowly coming in now, so that's fine. What we might even do... I have unpaused uh, an extra lumber mill and the gear workshop as well, because the numbers were starting to go a little bit lower. With the distances to the uh, water pumps being so great, we might actually need a couple more haulers as well. So let's add one more over here. Okay, so it seems they have completed most of their construction tasks over here. So they are finally starting to put in the levees for our... I guess like a little water reservoir that we have in here to green up the rest of the mountain as well. Okay, so yeah, I left them a little gaps in here as well, just in case they might get a little stuck. But uh, I don't think we need this one, so you can be filled up again. Yep, and we're just doing the normal levees because I think we have way more trees than we have blanks. Yeah, alright, well there we go, drought has ended. Now we can do another campfire here as well. So perhaps we give you a slightly higher priority. All right, thirsty beavers, but we shall be getting water very shortly. All right, here it goes. How is the rest of the map doing? I would very much love to expand into this area here and figure out how we want to do little canals. So initially what I was thinking to do with the mountain here is to surround this whole area with levees. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause for a second because I've just noticed that everything is pretty pretty dry over there. Right, so essentially, yeah, I had the plan, but then I changed my mind a little bit, and now we are just gonna surround that little stream and the lake that we have here. Well, once we get up on the, on the hill, of course. Okay, so problems on this side, it appears. Let's take these two out, and they are not synchronized, so we will be uh, dropping some water in here, because I don't want any of those farms to completely try out. Okay, there we go. The tank itself, okay, so the water starts flowing through now. So that's good. Let's uh, fill you up all the way. All right, you're still filling up. Yep, that is fine. And I think we're at the same level now, isn't it? Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need a bit more water in this area. So why don't we set you at, I think let's do 1.5 for the time being. We have greened up this zone. Well, most of it, but yeah, there we go. Now it's starting to fill up pretty nicely here as well. If we forget to check you, then we might be actually flooding the colony. We might, but let's see how it goes. We'll try and keep this in mind. Okay, water tanks are starting to go up again. Very good indeed. And how are the levees going? I don't suppose we get all of it done right away. I mean, I think we have enough lumberjacks. Oh, you guys, oh, right, I, hmm. No, we have berries. So why are you guys complaining? Oh, it's the water, okay. Well, fine, the water is coming now. 
I think what we do want to do here... Oh yeah, we do have a stream cage already. So what we would like to do is automate this a little bit. Right now, the water level is 0 0.7. So let's say if we connect you up. Okay, and if it's lower than... Let's say... 0 point... If it's lower than 0 0.6, then we shall open you. And high threshold shall be... 0 0.8 okay let's see how this works out all right there we go right now your height is 1.15 oh that's the highest never mind i think we may tweak this a little bit it's 270 for now and now the water still flows through all these areas are filled okay i think that is fine Right, so the next problem we are having is all of them are submerged in the water, which means they are, yeah, useless essentially. And another problem we might have, because the water flow might be pretty big. I'm a little worried that this might flood into our colony as well. But it seems it's right on the edge right now. Ooh, definitely have to keep an, keep an eye on this one here. And with you, I think we have enough outlets. There's uh, four dams here, plus another two, so that's a six. But we only have two, uh, one over here, and two over there of the water sources. Okay, we'll just uh, let it run for a bit and see how it goes. Are you flooding? Oh, you are flooding over. Uh, right, so that's... Um, yeah, that's going to be a little bit tricky because we didn't have a lot of space in here to build another TAM. I think three... Oh no, let's pause it for a second. Yep, that is not looking good. Everything is being flooded. What shall we... What shall we do? Oh dear. Okay, give me a second to think about this. All right, so there we go. What we are going to do is we shall remove one of those dams from here. And let's see what happens now. So it seems to be stabilizing a little bit, which is good. And we shall build one of those floodgates here instead. We'll take out those plants from here, so that way we could build a stream gauge. And then essentially, yeah, we'll automate it. Oh dear. No, what are you doing? Are you still letting water through? No, you're max height, you as well. We might have to do it on both sides. Well, it seemed to be stabilizing for a little bit. But now it's still flowing through somewhere. Or no. No, I think it is stabilized. Although in here, it definitely looks like it's flowing through. Yep, so that's uh, paused and ruined pretty much everything. Uh, right, if it goes a little further, this one's going to take all the extra water. Oh dear. Are you flooded as well? No, but you have filled in all those other pools, which is lovely. Right, so now... <laughs> okay. As soon as this one gets flooded, we are going to move you up on the hill. And then with the rest, we shall see how can we save everything. Now I'm hoping it's going to stabilize, of course. Now, do we still need you? I don't actually think we even need those here. Yeah, because all this water flows... Oh, no, we do. Because if we are pumping water out from this lake in here, then we don't want to dry up this whole area, do we? Okay, let's have a look. Yep, that's it. There we go. You are moving to a higher ground now. Uh, okay. Oh, don't tell me that. Uh. Okay, not ideal. What we can do as a as a bit of an emergency, these roads can go. Right, and now let's grab the district center again. We'll have a couple of beavers working here, and... <laughs> okay. These trees need to go. So that way we can place the district center a little bit closer. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Let's have a look. Everything here. <laughs> I guess we could place some levies here, but I'm kind of hoping we don't have to. Yeah, I'm hoping if it just naturally flows through this area, we might be fine. Now we just need this water to escape somewhere else. Okay, so it's going off the map. Fine. But I feel like it's still, for some reason... Yeah, some of the flow is still coming here, so what we could do... Um, uh, <laughs> Okay, fine. I suppose we are gonna have to go up here. And fix it up a little bit. Okay. To get up uh, all the way there... We are gonna need a few, few ladders. Okay, and the road connectivity as well. I think we have... Yeah, a couple of ladders there, so we'll go through in... Right, highest priority for this one instead. It needs to be done and fixed ASAP. I hope we still have a few uh, builder huts available to us, but I doubt it. Since everything is flooded. So okay, let's keep the night and see how everything is in the morning. Alright, there we go. So it is another morning and... Yeah, I don't think we are able to deflood this area. We're losing all of our crops, but food-wise we're fine. It's the water, drinking water, that is definitely the problem with the range as well. So, yeah, it's quite a long way around for them to go. Fortunately, we still have one. I have set up a couple more pumping stations over here, and hopefully we get them constructed right away. Uh, but knowing that we only have, what is it, four of you building. Oh, never mind, there's another. This one is not flooded just yet. Oh, wow, you've actually filled up a pretty, pretty large area over here. And yeah, for some reason, it's the back area that is definitely still uh, allowing some water through. Um, what else could we do? I guess if we were to rip out one of those sides in here, we could perhaps stabilize this whole area a little bit quicker okay so if we let more water escape through there but i think it's the height as well yeah all right what might be most sensible is if we take out one of those bigger levees all right there we go let's see what happens now uh lots of water is gonna disappear this way but at least we are not over flooding or flooding this whole zone anymore so no more water should be moving into this zone okay so that's good and what we might do in here let's change it up a little bit by leaving like a little yeah i guess like a flood gate in there okay let's take a look you guys are there so if the flood gate goes here we could still build some platforms or hmm no. Well, for the time being, let's place you here. And we shall see how the rest of the zone will do. I think the water is starting to lower a little bit now. Oh, yep. There we go. Ah, finally. So the district center can move back to where it was before as well. Okay, there we go. A couple of builders and let's try and fix everything as quick as we can. Right. First of all, we want these ones to be done now. I don't think we need to do you anymore. So we shall give you the lowest priority instead. Okay. Um, we lost all of our food, but that is okay. We do need more of the bumps online ASAP. So what might be quicker, actually, is if we construct you. Yep, there we go. That one, and perhaps you are second highest priority. And, hmm, let's do this one, actually, as well. Okay, well, there we go. Bit of a catastrophe for our colony. Now, to avoid this in the future, yeah, I guess we could raise this a little bit up as well. Because we do want to ensure that this situation does not repeat. Okay, levies over here. There we go, protect this whole area. And I think some of these plants, yep, you are most likely 
going to go as well. And we can do one levy here. This one can be can be completed as well. Same with these two. And then uh, we'll figure out the rest. That one's pretty pretty straightforward. And I think that's almost done then. We just need to change the what do you call the floodgates as well. Raising this level might be a bit more trickier, so maybe we do a few platforms here first. Yeah, construct that one. Or actually, no, the cheaper way to do this is if we get the stairs. Stairs over there. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then we can remove the levy and construct the rest of it. Okay, so what were you saying? The... Now the drought is about to start very soon. Are we able to... I think we can construct you. Yeah, let's let's place you back in there. And same with this dam in here as well. Alright, there we go. I believe another pump should be coming online very shortly as well. And I hope we can... Yeah, close this area. Alright, so let's do those levees there again. And probably a slightly high priority for all, all of this. I know we have a lot of high priorities right now. Um, we also do need all the builders. Oh, you seem to be fine. Yep. We'll keep it this way for a while. Just want to have everything constructed. Pumping out some water is a major priority as well. Okay, do we have blanks? Yes, we should have enough. Actually, we do have a few spare beavers as well. And with that being said... I believe it is time to pause a few of those spots before we run into trouble again. Right, let's open another farm as well so we can start replanting quite a few things in here. And I think, okay, still have a few spare beavers. Let's do grilled chestnuts. Ooh, okay, yeah, that was um, that was a little tricky. Bit of a roller coaster of emotions. But I think we're fine now. Just need another platform in there. Seems we got a few viewers coming over, but they... Oh yeah, they are definitely bringing those logs in now. Um, why are you not doing... Okay, we just need someone to construct it, and I guess in the morning it shall be, shall be done. Okay, here we go. Another bump should be operational very shortly. We'll give you a high priority as well, just to ensure that someone is working there at all times. Uh, yep, yeah, lots of thirsty beavers, but it is what it is. And right now what we'll do is we'll place a floodgate over here. So we can manually open it, and once these levees are done, we can just remove the middle piece in here. Okay, so our workforce has gone up as well, so that's that's good. We still have a few spare beavers. But now, when it comes to production, I guess the next thing we do want to improve in here is the blanks. It seems we have lost quite a, quite a few. And I guess, actually, yeah, some of these will definitely jump into into the water pumps as well as soon as we get them online. Right, our next big priority... Let's have a look. You've done one of the dams. This one... Okay, we're still waiting for 20... Ah, uh, wait a second. Oh, you can climb down all the way. Oh, yeah. So you must have built those ladders at some point. And here we go, a couple of beavers taking over those logs already, which is great. And all the four pumps are now working as well, so... Uh, yeah, should be uh, should be fine. I just really want to get this one completed here. 0 0.5 days, I think what we might do now... We'll drop the priority on these levies here instead. And perhaps... Oh yeah, the deliveries are already moving in, and I think it should be enough. Yep, that's the, that's the 20. All right, there we go. Now we can fill you up once again. Oh, they're not going to be able to do it. Let's have a look. 12. This one can be paused. Not important. If we increase their workday. I'm really sorry, but yep, yeah, it's going to be one of those long, longer days. So all we need now is eight more logs. On that one. Okay, there we go. So this one's done as well. If we could get... No. Seems like we didn't have enough time. Or do we? 
nearly there. Alright, now we can reduce your work hours once again. Uh, beautiful. Okay, so the reservoir isn't completely full. But we have managed to avert the crisis. Everyone is still alive. I don't think anyone passed away from the incident that had occurred in our colony. But we do have to, yeah, try and be a bit more cautious in the in the future. Four pumps obviously isn't going to be enough, but we are already doing these platforms in here. I think we can leave it as it is. You can be a slightly higher priority for, for now. And then, uh, yeah, let's get the rest of you done as well. That should be our next priority. And then we should be fine with the water situation. We are also going to remove all these trees from here. Actually, hold on a second. We've got someone working here, so that's fine. Let's uh, harvest as many as you as you can. And then with the rest of them, yeah, we are just going to demolish them instead. I just want to ensure that if we have a, another incident in our colony, then we have the space to place our town center as well. So let's uh, speed it up again. I think we are fine for, for a little while. Uh, you are pretty full, so I don't think we, we need you. Yeah, we got tons of potatoes and everything else. I guess grilled chestnuts is another storage that we do have to do. And um, blanks are really low, so why don't we actually have another one of you working? Gears, why are you not... Oh, the storage is full, but I'm pretty sure we had another storage somewhere else. Uh, I see. So, that's because I removed those roads. Oh no, never mind, you're full as well. These ones are unconnected or flooded. Yep. You are also going to have to go, unfortunately. Same with these roads over here. Okay, we'll try and clean up this space. And after that, let's uh, fill this whole area with, um, with some more platforms. Okay, there we go. So, what is our construction team doing right now? Are you building this wall again? Or do we have some other things? Oh no, you are... Oh, you're doing all those levees and the platforms next I suppose they might actually need a bit more yeah I don't think they can build those levees so let's do a couple of stairs just like so I think in the long run I don't really want to have the third layer of levees if I'm completely honest but for now it was a yeah it was a desperate measure that we are gonna put in place just to ensure that we are safe in the future but yeah, in the long run, definitely going to take the third level down and then figure out some other ways how we can ensure it stays nice and fertile. I'm probably going to do some automated water locks around this area here and then maybe letting it yeah run through this area and then all the way there. But I guess we, we shall see. Right, right, right. So a couple more water pumps have come online now. We should have a total of six operational. And uh, since you have quite a few things to do, I'm going to give these sections a slightly high priority as well. Because I would like them to focus on our water improvements first, or fixes, sh should I say. Then building up this wall over there. Okay, so quite a few construction projects over here. We are going to skip the time just a little bit and then we shall resume with the wall itself. Alright, so there we go. The platforms are now in place. All we need is a couple of ladders over here. So with the flat gate here as well, we are going to set up a bit of an automated system. I have already built this uh, stream cage over here. And essentially what we are going to do is if, uh, if this area has no water, we will keep the flat gates up till uh, level two now if we do de detect any water in here then the flat gate should drop to its uh, lowest level i guess we shall see how it's gonna go but uh that's the idea essentially now what we could also do is if um uh, if it turns into a bit of a disaster we could actually do all three double flat gates in here yeah and instead of let's see 
maybe we don't drop you all the way down. Maybe we drop you to, let's say, one. Okay, that might be more suitable, I, I suppose. Okay, and then uh, with this section here as well, we can close you off. All right, there we go. And with the rest, I think we are already constructing the wall. Yes, we are. So maybe this is a slightly high priority. Let's try and get everything done over here. Oh, actually, we do have to fill this gap in here somehow. Hmm. Oh, never mind. We might might as well just place the floodgates in here instead. We got the science points right now, so yeah, let's build the build the new ones. Okay, with the rest of the sections, you can be next. And I think we are missing a few links in here. All right, there we go. Close these ones as well. And because we built the the stairs over here, all the ladders, it will be much easier to complete the rest of you as well. So I think we... Alright, we'll let the beavers go to sleep first. They will grab a little bit of water. But once that is done, oh, we probably need all of you to be operational first. Alright, there we go. Yeah, once everyone is in bed, which should happen any second now, we can remove those roads just for a second. Okay, and now we shall... I guess we'll place you this way instead, so that way they can still walk through. Okay, and uh, right, 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 so you probably next will do another one here. And we could definitely use a road on top of these ones. Once they are done, we can place the final floodgate, not the floodgate, the final levy over there as well. Okay, so that should be pretty much it, yeah. And the, I think, hmm, well, it might not be complete just yet, but I believe with the, with the next drought or the rainy season, there's just a little bit left. I'd say we're halfway there. Yeah, that's what I kind of want to say. Uh, definitely not too far off. Once it's done, then... Oh, we are going to need another set of stairs going down to open up the barrier, though. Okay, so we might try and schedule you in just like so as well. Okay. And then we need a few few roads going all the way here for access. Okay, lovely. So that's uh, that's now completed. Water mm, seems to be improving a little bit slowly, but I think we'll be fine as soon as a couple more of those bumps come online. Uh, food has gone down quite a bit, but that's understandable. We do have the potatoes. We might just need a few more carrots. How is you doing though? Grilled chestnuts um, maybe this forest isn't big enough. Okay, let's try and plant a few more of you. Alright, so chestnuts all around this area. That should be fine, and actually we can probably... Yeah, go all the way here as well. Now, if we wanted to give, let's say, these guys a bit more direct route, we could do another road here and the stairs. Or maybe just the stairs, I don't think we need the road itself. Alright, there we go. But I mean, our potato storage is already full, so it's not going to change too much right now. And there we go, the reservoir or the canal is pretty much done now. We just have a couple of levees left in this link here and well, quite a few in there as well. But I do feel it might be 
It might be safe. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that, but uh, let's just uh, give it a try. Let's try and fill this area before the next route starts. So here we go. We are going to demolish this barrier in here and try and fill up this whole area. I am hoping... Okay, someone was very eager to go and unleash the water right away. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Now, I think the, yeah, the priority is trying to get this constructed in time. Uh, let's speed up the time as well and see how quickly this area fills up. We might have a bit of a flood, but where is this water going to go? Okay, so most likely fill up those pools again, which, uh, you know, might be, might be perfectly fine. And you guys are constructing that one there as well. Well, these ones are a priority, but sure, why not? Actually, maybe we are going to pause this for a second, because I think, yeah, it's the same level as these ones here. So until the last levy is complete, I don't really want to close that section off. But uh, okay, it seems it's the night time, so we'll definitely get it done in the morning. All right, here we go. The water has almost reached to the to the max level and any second now. Yep, there is definitely going to be a little bit of a flood. Okay, four more levees. No, it is not going to be in time. Well, let's see what's going to happen now. <laughs> well, perhaps not constructing that dam over here or over there on the other side might have saved us a little bit, but no, here it goes. Um, I mean, if we knew this was going to happen, why did we make it so difficult for ourselves? I do not know the answer to that one. Alright, let's bring back the UI as well and see how much of the colony is going to flood. Alright, so most of it is actually flooding off the map. And two more levees left. Let's see how far are you going to keep going. No, that seems to be the limit, so that's good. Most of it is, yeah, going off the map over there. And I don't suppose you're going to construct the last one, are you? No, yeah, that's a great idea. Just leave it. Doesn't matter that quarter of our colony is probably flooded right now. Or we're about to flood our whole colony. Yeah, it's probably better if you get a good night's sleep instead. Um, well, anyways, I think uh, now is a... Uh, yeah, we should be safe now, which means... We can continue the construction of the last dam as well to make sure that it's filled all the way to the brim. Okay, couple more logs and we should be done now. Alright, so that's lovely. There we go. This will keep the whole mountain green. I think it was, yeah, it's, if it's three levels high, that's uh, safe for 30 day droughts. All we need to hope and pray for is that this one dam can release all the excess water. If it can't, then, well, I guess we could do another dam over there, but that's okay. That's a problem for a different episode, because right now, with the rainy season open, it seems everything else is pretty good over here. They have been constructing or trying to construct those uh, levees and other things in the background, so yeah... The last section that we do have in here is just a couple of levees in here, but I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, look at that. Everything's flowing through. Seems to be pretty functional. We've got a failsafe in place as well. And uh, all right, so let's cut the episode here. And in the next one, I think now is the time to start moving on top of the mountain. I know we've been trying to do this for quite some time, but it seems some of the problems we have brought on ourselves have slowed down our progress just a little bit. But it's all just part of the fun, isn't it? Let's uh, yeah end the episode here, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.